Hey there, this is Vern, and I'm um, with Myrmidon Nation Ants, and we have started a YouTube channel to do product reviews, DIY tutorials, colony care, and various colony updates. So this is one of the colonies that I'll be bringing to you regularly to check on them. Um, this is a Myrmicostis Mexicanus colony that was caught August 16th, and they are doing very well so far. Um, the total catch from that trip, I've lost about 50% of the queens, only a few during the first few weeks, but most of them after founding. This species has a very high mortality rate and uh, they're very easily stressed by light. And so this video might be a little shaky and uh, yeah, we're gonna jump right into it. So as you can see here, there's some pretty big piles of brood at various stages. We have eggs, larvae, and pupa right up there in the right corner that is the full-sized worker one of the first of this colony and the other workers helping it get some of the pupa cocoon off of it after it's a closed which just happened probably within the last hour or so as you can see back there in the corner the queen is just kind of staying away from the light sitting in place she's pretty active for the most part but um, she's not a big fan of light so i have them housed in a regular tar hill mini hearth not the xl which has another Tar Heel mini hearth attached to the side of it that they decide to expand a bit. Um, that worker right there actually has a Prenolepsis and Paris worker in her mouth. I've been having a bunch of them in my house and instead of my wife killing them, I've been catching them and freezing them. And this is kind of a little experiment to see if the Myrmicostis workers will feed the dead Prenolepsis and Paris workers to the brood. So far it appears that they are gonna. So, um, very excited to see when and if this colony is going to get replete sometime soon. You'll see there is a big pile of larvae. They keep everything real organized. The larvae separated from the pupa, as you can kind of see in that shot. I actually run a heating cable with no thermostat, and I just make it to where one side of the nest is barely touching it. And that's why you'll notice that all that pupa is stacked up directly against the glass. So they have a nice, good gradient. I've tried it with a thermostat and without, and I think just running a heat cable with no thermostat, but leaving a good gradient is the best way to go for this species. And here we're gonna jump right into the Myrmicostis mimicus. These were also caught August 16th, 2020, um, close to the same area that I caught the Myrmicostis mexicanus. This colony is doing pretty good. They're at about 20 to 25 in numbers. And as you can see, they also got one of their first full-size workers right there. Her and the other worker are doing trophallaxis, sharing some food. Um, not sure if she's going to be a replete or not, but she's much bigger than the other workers. So, as you can see to the right, they have a good little pile of larva going. And then on the left side, you'll see a good little pile of pupa. Um, this queen actually has a small injury to her gaster, what doesn't seem to have affected her yet. So, she's been doing real well. This colony eats a ton. Um, as well as the Myrmicosis mexicanus colony. They're hard to keep up with as far as supplying feeder insects. Um, these are an interesting coloration out of the Mimicus, and uh, the only one I had survive out of the catch and was the only one of this coloration. But excited to see when these guys are going to get repletes, or if they do, because uh, the area I caught them, it is not common for the Mimicus in that area to get repletes. So I'll be waiting and seeing. And here we have uh, another one of my colonies of Myrmicosis mexicanus that were caught on the same day as the first colony I showed you. As you'll see up there in the right corner, this colony actually has its first smaller replete. Um, for the most part, that replete just stays in place, but it is mobile. It can move around, so it's not quite to the mature status of a hanging replete that cannot move. It's pretty interesting because this colony did not as well as my larger colony, and they were the first ones to get a replete. So I'll be keeping an eye on them and kind of seeing if they produce some faster than the other colonies. And this colony here is Myrmicostis Navajo. They were caught August 16th, 2020. They're doing pretty well. They're up to about 12 in numbers, have a good pile of larva, quite a few pupa. This species, I did not lose any, four for four out of the catch. So um, their mortality rate is not as high. They're a little less active than Mexicanus and come out more in the morning from what I've seen than at night. Um, this colony is doing great. I'm going to keep an eye on him, and I will keep you guys updated.
This colony here is a Dory Miramix Insanus. Uh, I'd have to say this is probably one of the least sought after um, species that I keep, but I actually am pretty entertained by them. They're pretty easy going, they eat a ton, um, their brood production is pretty through the roof. And uh, I caught them back in April of 2020 and they are doing very well. They're probably up to about 55, 60 maybe in numbers and they've moved through three different setups. I decided to go ahead and give them this big open setup so I can keep an eye on them as some of my other species are in bifurcated Tar Heel mini hearths. And I noticed that the queens stay real far back in the corner with the brood, so it's hard to keep a good eye on them. Um, this is going to be the last colony that I'm going to give you guys a look at today. I have several other colonies. I will post a list in the description to this video, and you guys can go ahead and uh, tell me what you guys want to see next, or if you just want to see more of what I posted here. Thanks for watching, and uh, check us out next week with a different episode for product reviews for ancient ants. And an introduction to Jesse's colonies that he will be keeping you updated on, as well as a list of his entire colony collection. If there are some there you guys would like to see, go ahead and put that in the comments to that video. We'll see you guys next time.